so for those of you who have watched this channel for a little while you would know that i'm i've been in a dilemma for a little a little while right on trading in my truck so i was over at the shop like i usually am and i was talking to the owner and uh of course he was telling me about some trucks that he's got in stock right so guys he's got two trucks in stock that are highly tempting so that's my truck in the middle he's got this one right here he's got that one right there he's got this one right here there's my truck he's got that one right there which one do you guys want to check out first I gotta see the blue one. Let's check that one out first. It's, uh... Ooh, guys, guys, if you know, you know, this has been my dream truck for a while. The one with the, the couch in it. It's got the diamond stitching. It's got the sunroof up here. Guys, there's so much space back there. Look, it's got the little step down here. Guys, that is so much space. see what we got up here it's got the navigation here it's got the 18 speed it's got 263,000 miles on it it's got the overhead diamond stitching leather seats the blind side window right there I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let's take a look at the outside of it. This one is, of course, made for flatbed, as y'all can see the uh, the toolbox up there. What do you guys think? I can trade her in for that one, or I can trade her in for this one. This one stands out to me. Y'all know why? Who can guess why? This one stands out to me because of this. For those of you who don't know, that is an APU, which means I can shut my truck off at night and I don't have to idle it. Oh, wow, guys, look. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Uh, I don't like those small compartments. Oh, okay. Here's the APU stuff right here. I want to break that. Okay. Let's see what size these tanks are. Wow. What size are these tanks? What size are they? Might be on the other side of the size of them. It's got something right here. Was that a scratch? Yeah, it's got a scratch right there. It's got the little LED up there, or whatever those are. I 
Okay, it's got a smaller tank on this side. That one's way smaller. Got brand new tires, guys. Let's see how much space is on this side. Still no space. Like, what the heck? This one uh, has a custom shifter on it. Also has the navigation built in. Let's see how many miles. This one's got 540,000 miles on it. Way more miles. Um, Let's see what's back here in the sleeper. Uh-oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, look, look, there's a, the there's a screen. Let's see, we got gauges, navigation, audio, phone, camera views. What the heck? The camera's on here? Wi-Fi network available. Got the time and the date up there. Everybody needs that, right? Okay, what in the world? How do I how do I work this thing? Make phone calls, navigation. Is it touch screen or is it a knob or something? Is it a knob? Is this it? Or is this it? What is this? Oh wait, well. Is this for the screen? Guys, I have no idea how to work this thing. For those of you who know. Please let me know in the comments. Is this touchscreen at all? I have no idea. Anyway, let's check out this sleeper. It's got the couch that I love so much. And guys, look at how much space is in here. Look, look at this. Uh, can this be turned off? How do I turn the, the air off? I don't know. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, guys, look at how much space this is. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, we would you looky there? Let's see, what is this? Oh, oops, duh. Okay, we got some shelves in here. So I'm not gonna lie, I would probably take this shelf out here and install a TV mount in there somewhere. Uh, what is this? Okay, it's like a little ashtray or something right there. Let's see, does this one open too? Oh. What is this? Speakers, warm. Okay, this controls all the stuff back here. No, what is this? Oh, a cup holder, guys. Wow. Let's see, what is this? Oh, another closet. Yep, another closet here. Plenty of space, guys. Plenty of space. Let's see. What is this? Oh, it's a drawer. Wow. Okay. Got one drawer here. Just open. Yep, got another drawer here. Got the I forgot what they call these the propeller arms, I think. So we got one closet here. Put the air out some. Got another closet here. 
We have storage space here. We have more storage space up here and a little outlet there. Oh, I guess the microwave will go here. You strap it down right there. And this is just more storage space. A little Kenworth bag. With some Kenworth goodies in it. Of course, it's got the infamous sunroof. So, while well, I'm sitting back here, guys, I could literally have my sunroof there. I can look out that way. And I can look out that way. Got a little fridge here. What is this? Another? Oh, this is the ashtray here. And another cup holder, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay, so the TV is supposed to go somewhere over here because of that. Look, guys, a little mirror. Come on. Uh, I'm always sold to buy a truck when it has one of these in it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay. This, I think, is that broken? I don't know if I like the green. I'm going to have to change the colors, definitely. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the green. I think there was green up here, too. Yeah. Not a huge fan of the green, but hey. I mean, I think I'll get over it. Uh, what is this? Uh, wow. Okay, so we have a little small matches up here. This is more Kenworth stuff. Oh, this is the manual and everything. Nice. Got some shades up here to... you can literally get a lot of sunlight in this thing Let's see is there enough headroom plenty of headroom <sighs> plenty of headroom well not plenty but enough Some storage back here. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let's see what else they got. What is this? This isn't. Oh, okay. This is just. Doesn't attach to anything. Now, from what I understand. Somehow, what's this? Oh, it's a little switch down here, okay. Somehow. Hmm. Let's see here. Ouch, something's hot down there. How does this thing work? I don't know, guys. How does this thing work? Guys, I think I figured it out. I feel like an idiot. You just pull up here and look. Now it's a bed. Now it's a bed. Let's see if it's a comfortable bed. Ugh. Yeah, it's comfortable enough. Yeah, it's got a nice cushion to it. Now, how do we put it back up? We just pull here again and push. Let's see. Let's push up here. Let's grab the back. Yep. 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 And she's a couch again. Let's put these things up before I die over them. Okay. All right. I don't know. What do you guys think? I like, I love this custom shifter. Yep, I took my shoes off before I entered. <sighs> Diagnostic. It's got the check engine light on. We'll have to get that checked out. I 
don't like that green. And I also like that it doesn't have the smart steering wheel. So I can swap this out for something different. It's got the cup holders there. What I like about that is that they're not in the way of shifting. I don't like how the shifter, I like the Peterbilt ones that come out slanted like that. It's got this thing up here, which I love that. Guys, look. Guys, come on. For those of you who don't know, these are not common on 18 wheelers. Let's see if it works. It works. Ugh. All right, we gotta do one last thing. Let's start it up. Guys, uh-oh, I think somebody's testing out our truck. I like how much space there is in the shifting. Let's see, how do we work this thing? Guys, I have no idea how this thing works. Is it touch screen or what is it? Is it this thing? Oh, okay, so yeah, it's touch screen. I don't know if the touch screen works, guys. Huh. Anyway. And it does have the, the Cummins X15. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I trade for it? I love the chrome, and I especially love those mud flat brackets back there. What do you guys think? Should I trade in my truck for it? So let me know in the comments below. Should I trade in my truck for this one here? We'll take a vote. And if I do trade in my truck, which one should I trade it for? I did come up here guys, and that, um, that green Peterbilt, I think it's gone, guys. I think it's gone. There's somebody driving in it right now and just kind of testing it out a little bit. Uh, not testing it out, but he's he took it on the road to see if he wants it. Um, so he's testing it out. But guys, there is one more option here. The one thing I don't like about, well, there's two things I don't like about this one. One, it's a 72 inch sleeper. So it's got the smallest sleeper on the back there. And let's see if it is unlocked. Yep, it's unlocked. It's got your standard uh, shifter on here. And y'all see it's not as big. And it's got the double bunk. And not my futon. Doesn't have the GPS there. Actually, wow, guys. It only has 83,000 miles on it. This one must be, uh, yeah, this one here's a 23. A 2023. That black one down there is a, uh, a 2019. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below what you would do, what you would think. 
I still haven't got a price on this one yet. I'm going to check it out or that blue one. Uh, yeah, so let me know what y'all think. Well, guys, I found me a load, but I can't go pick it up because my truck. Oh, y'all see they changed the window. See, see that? They fixed the window up here. You got a new window, y'all. Anyway, I found a load and this agent has some actually really some good loads. If I can get a relationship with this guy, it'd be great. But I can't go pick it up because my truck goes in the shop tomorrow. So what am I going to do? So uh, I did some thinking. I did some asking. And um, it's sad, guys. I and mean, it's sad to say. I got to take this truck. Can you believe that? So I have to take this truck because this guy wants me to move, these, move this load for him. And he's got some really good, really good loads. And I'm trying to build a relationship. But my truck is out of service right now because I need work done on it. So the only thing I can do is take this trailer. And I just so happen to hook it up to my trailer. <laughs> so we're going to take this truck. We're going to test drive it a good 500 miles or so. So we're going to uh, test it out, see how we like her. And we'll make a decision this weekend on whether we want to uh, get this one or if we're going to keep my truck and just do the work we got to get done on it. So let's jump in and let's roll. See what we're working with here. All right. Those ugly green lights. Got my pillow and blanket and everything back there. We got a few things. Ah. All right. Uh, okay, right here. Let's get that going. All right. Oh yeah. Ooh wee. Okay. All right. Let's figure a, thing, a few things out and let's hit the road. I think we're just about settled. It's gonna take some adjusting, but uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, okay. One thing I already see I don't like about this truck is there's no armrest on the driver's side. Unless I'm missing it. Am I missing it? Yeah, I don't see an armrest, guys. So there's no armrest over here on the left side. That sucks. If I do buy this truck, the first thing I'm gonna do is get buy some new seats. Man, that sucks. Okay. Um, I think we got everything situated. shifts way easier than my truck way easier a little too easy if you ask me but I do have to get used to this brake pedal okay let's stop here for a second okay Oh, God. 
this truck shifts so much easier. But I have to remember, I'm not driving a 13 speed, I'm driving an 18 speed. Anybody coming? Nope. What gear do I need to be in? 18. There we go. Oh, we found it right away, too.
there she is. Get a little drink, you know, you know. Uh, it's ugly green, you guys. If we decide to get this truck, this green has got to go. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, one thing I have to get used to, guys, is that hood. Super long hood in front of me. This uh, takes up a lot of space. All right, where's the? I can't see, guys. I can't see. There he is. So we do need to see what that is about. Check engine light. You ready? Okay. I like that glare on top from the uh, the window visor. That's pretty dope. Let's keep it moving. adjust a little bit to the uh, the 18 gears it's a little bit different from the 13 speed just because I'm not used to splitting the first half of the gears um, this one is a lot easier to shift in mine but um, um, the pedal is a lot more sensitive than my truck so trying to rev match and get my RPMs where they need to be has been a little bit difficult. But other than that, I uh, think it's been pretty good. It's just an adjustment. But we're, we're almost home. Lights should be about to turn green here. Oh, come on, light. Yeah, this light is always super unpredictable. You just never know. Sometimes it'll act right, sometimes it won't. 
but yeah it's a, it definitely is an adjustment driving this thing um i see a few little uh things that could be worked on with the truck itself so when i bring it back i'm going to bring it to their attention and see what could be worked out let's go ahead and get in gear now in case this light decides to act right come on now guys we may have to run this light I wish I knew of another way to, to get around it, but this is the only truck route to get home. There's a well, there's another way. I mean, what, there's other several ways, but they're like a I don't know, like a 10 mile detour. So it's either a 10 mile detour or, or this stupid light. And I know as soon as I right now I'm in uh, in gear, so it turns green I can just shoot off but I know as soon as I go in neutral it's gonna act right all right like come on you gotta work this time come on there we go okay they got yellow all right let's start rolling just in case ah guys we are right there next to home I don't know when light, okay, actually we might be getting light here, guys. Wow, so they got the whole green light over there, wow. I don't know, is there like a number we can call? Like, is there a number or a city number you can call when stuff like this happens? Seriously, there we go, hey, hey, all righty. All right, let's get these gears right. All right, so far so good. I haven't had much practice because it's been straight interstate driving. All right, so far so good, so far so good. All right, we're gonna stop for the stop sign here. Estimated that gear. All right, let's put it down. All right, nobody's coming. Cool. Now let's see if there's a parking space up here because this is where I usually park. But I guess some other people have uh, joined the club. I hope they haven't taken my spot. See, can I make space up here? Guys, I was the only one who used to park here. Uh, yeah, I can make a spot. I gotta kick all the way over here. And then kick back, so I don't have to back up blindly. All right, guys, this is my first attempt to back up, I'm getting gear back into a spot in the W9. Let's see, how do I turn my light off outside so I can open this door? Oh, nope. Uh, this light. Oh, nope. Okay. Yep, glad I looked. I'm about to hit the trailer behind. 
front of me. I can't see it at all because it's pitch black behind me. And it's a flatbed, so I can't even see it. I think if I straighten out right here, I can get in there, okay? My trailer over some more. Okay. I think I judged that around. Okay. Okay, I think I can see it better now when I... Okay, when I hit my brake lights, I can see. Yeah, guys. All right, let's let this thing down. One more, there we go. Now, I have to find a place to, to mount these. All right, where's my work light? Okay, I think it's right here. We can turn uh, this light off. Uh, nope, that wasn't it. Okay, so my work light doesn't want to work. Hmm. Better turn one of these lights on, maybe? Huh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, what is this? Guys, am I doing something wrong? Like, why? Okay. That's one thing we have to get checked out. Okay, so now where can we put our glad hands? I don't want to sit them up here. Well, we'll have to bring that up too. In the meantime,
Where can we put these guys? They go in here. It's not gonna stay in there. So that work. Okay, trailer auxiliary. Okay. This might be it guys. Oh, okay. So this one goes in here. Okay. Uh, if that goes in there, then how does this fit in here? Guys, I have no idea how this works. Trailer auxiliary. Is that for flatbed? Like what in the world? Okay, well we gotta find something to do with these. So, I don't feel like that's sturdy enough to stay in it. Yeah, see? I don't want these getting caught on anything by sitting up here. Try that. Okay, that's not good. I wonder if there's a king pin release or something. See if there's a button for that too. Axle lock. Turn these up enough. Just to tilt the fifth wheel, slide it. Axle lock. No. Okay. Oh. Ah. Let's try rocketing, I guess. Okay. Let's rock it backwards. Let off the clutch. Wiggle it. All right. Let's try that. If I can find a door handle. Not 
I'm missing a button somewhere? Ugh. Okay, let's lower my fifth wheel. I don't see any buttons. That's to lower it. That's to slide. Okay, let's try taking the weight off the fifth wheel. See if that works maybe. All right, guys, let me try some Googling and I will get back to you. All right, guys, we got it. So apparently you have to pull super, 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 super hard to get it out of there. Might need to get that adjusted. But here she is at night. I love those headlights, those marker lights on the headlights, the blinkers. That green still gotta go. All right, let's get on home. What do you guys think, huh? The leaves from the trailer. Okay, we're about to tell again. Whoa. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Should we trade it in? Should we trade in that International Lone Star for this truck here? 2019 W900 with 541,000 miles on it. There are a few things that I do see that needs to be checked out. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I love that. I was gonna do that to the to the other truck. But let me know what you guys think. 
Got the APU right there. I know you guys can't see it as dark. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should we keep our truck and just get it fixed, delete it, whatever? Or should we trade it in and get this one? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Don't hit my truck. All right, guys, let's see what he's loaded with so we can kind of see what we're getting. Yeah, he even looks heavy. You have to get those tanners probably back to the 40, 41. She got a free strap out of it. Oh, that's your strap? Oh. It's not has it's not hazmat. Uh oh y'all, Karana slimmed up a little bit. Uh oh, must got a girlfriend or something at home. <laughs>